Welcome to our behind the scenes tour of Spin's August issue with technology provided by Intel. One of the bands that really dominates this issue is Against Me, a politically charged, message first punk band from Gainesville, Florida. The arrival of Against Me's new album, New Wave, was met with instant awe and enthusiasm in the Spin offices. It's probably the most excited I've been listening to a record about a band that I didn't have a lot of expectations or knowledge of ahead of time in, in, a, in a really long time, like put it on immediately. And you actually sent up the flare right away. You sort of sent out the email saying like, dig through your stacks and, and find this. And you know, I, I opened an envelope with it too and, and I, I'm not sure I had given it a listen yet. And you know, it's just one of those things that right away you sort of realize that there's kind of something different going on there. And it just was so catchy and, and so good. And I think that like, you know, in a, me in a younger day, I would have like that would have been it for me. That would have been my favorite band ever if I was, you know, 19 years old. But, you know. but when you finally get to play something that just really hits you as, oh, okay, this record could possibly be a classic down the line. Mm -hmm. Those are very few and far between. So when those do come, you want to really sort of get behind it and celebrate it. Produced by Butch Vig, the man who produced Nirvana's classic Nevermind, New Wave takes against me's aggressive, archetypal punk prowess and gives it a slick, primetime sheen. And you put the record on and like the first song in, you know that you're listening to something pretty, pretty special. It, it just, it, it's, it's, it's a record that takes everything great about the band, kind of like this, you know, this rough, these rough vocals, like great guitar work, just really cool, like sort of punk pop songs, um, and just sort of streamlines it and makes it into a real kind of slick rock album, but not a slick rock album in a way that, you know, Boston or Journey is a slick rock album. It's just an incredibly listenable um, punk rock record with, with just great songs, great hooks, kind of a, a great attitude. And the attitude really comes through in the grooves. Undoubtedly, New Wave, with its four and a half out of five review in this issue, marks a fairly rare moment of consensus in the spin offices. It's so f few and far between when we come across a record that really has this impact, that really, you know, kind of rallies the troops in a way. So, you know, you don't want to really temper your enthusiasm because so much of what you do is, 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 um, is not so much tempering enthusiasm, but but not, uh, you're not able to really be excited about stuff, mm -hmm. or you, you might have to feign excitement sometimes because something is mediocre. Mm -hmm. um, I think in, in, in this case, it's like, you know, it's there, it's an object, it's, you know, we all love it, so let's just go all out and celebrate mm -hmm. it. People, owe it, you know, when they find out what you do for a living, they always ask you, well, what should I be listening to right now? What's, what's really good? And I, very often hem and haw and then you know talk about something that I realize I'm talking about an album that came out 12 years ago so it was great to like to be able to answer that like as soon as people would ask me I would answer like oh the new Against Me album and I, I would hear myself answer so quickly. <laughs> and then the next line is who are they? Right but, if it did, but that was even better you know you, I just felt like you know there was such a genuine it felt good to be able to really get behind something in a way that I didn't have to sit and think like what what did I like this week? No that, no it wasn't that you know it was like oh yeah and, and I, I wish it happened more but um, when it does happen you just sort of seize on it and so yeah I mean we really uh, we have been all over them and, and it's one of those things that like you know I, I maybe it doesn't look objective but it's good to not be objective I think it's good that we're actually we're taking a stand we are you know and I think readers sense that readers yeah. sense that if you're behind something then you know if the whole magazine is behind something and we're really kind of hammering it home it's mm -hmm. like it's worth their while to check it out and that's kind of what we're here for it's Turning to the piece itself, one of the surprising things we learned about Against Me came from a long time ago and a galaxy far, far away. Tom Gable has a tattoo of the Star Wars Rebel Alliance logo that, uh, well, that, that covers up a previous tattoo that he got in some kind of drunken state that was not very successful. Mm -hmm. So, but that's you know just to see that sort of like that level of geekery is always great too because I mean I can't I gotta tell you I can't even picture offhand what Star Wars what the Rebel, Rebel Alliance, Alliance logo symbolism. looks like maybe I'd know it if I saw it and I and you know I I've I've been around but I, I, even that I, I couldn't I did not have any recall for that so you know just the idea of like these like this anarchist from Florida who has a Star Wars tattoo I mean 
Star Wars is one of the great big money making capitalists. But it's also about the Rebel <laughs> Alliance, and that's also what yes, they're about too. Okay. And I don't know somehow I, 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 <laughs> that that was that was pretty great. Tattoos aside, there is a palpable sense of excitement in getting behind an important band on the rise at a crucial moment in their career. You know, not only is the record good, and not only are they interesting guys, but there's actually something, um, you know, sort of almost tangible, you know, that you can sense that's going on with them right now, and it's a really good moment to get them. And again, like that doesn't happen all the time. It's not just like, okay, we're putting out a record. Now here's the part where we talk to people, and now here's the part where we play a show. It's like there's really actually something going on with them, and you can sort of sense it and, the, and to be able to catch someone when they're in the middle of a moment like that is is great and I think we were really fortunate to be able to get some time with them and you know you will see a few months down the road whether it all does take hold like that or whether whether it doesn't but um, you know just sort of again the stars kind of lined up and it was just good, good to get them on the pitch. Check out live performance footage of Against Me playing in New York City, plus an interview with the band at Coachella, and much, much more from this issue at spin.com forward slash Intel cover. Mm -hmm.